Hey friends, it is Monday afternoon. We have a big, big day in our family today, but I wanted to take some time, first of all, for me to ground. And so I thought, great time to do the Oracle cards. Um, one of the decks, I did not realize I was reaching for this. I thought I was reaching for the manifestation one, but that's okay. Everything happens for a reason. We may not know the reason at the time, but we're going to go with it. So this one is going to give us our affirmation. And the diffuser blend. So the diffuser blend from last night was Serenity, Siberian Fur, Breathe, and Balance. So we've got Grounding, Breath aging in perspective, and tranquility. So it was a really, really nice blend. All right. This one right here. Okay, they go together. This, this works. So I thought I was reaching for the Moonology Manifestation, and I pulled up the Super Attractor. And the card that literally just jumped out of my hand. Spiritual alignment puts my manifestation into motion. There you go. There you go. And remember, manifestation isn't just getting something. What's the best way? It's not. When you think of manifesting, it's not always that you're just handed or given something, there's usually an exchange, whether it's energy, whether it's money, which is also a form of energy. Um, so for example, my plant rack that I got on Friday, um, beautiful manifestation, beautiful. I knew I wanted something different for, um, oh, I knew I wanted something different. Um, in our front window. And I had told my daughter that, that I wanted to look for something different. And then someone local posted this plant rack that's literally like my colors. <laughs> it's like a darker version of the, it's kind of like a burnt copper color. It's like, it's literally my colors. Um, great price, fits perfect exactly where I wanted it. So that is a perfect beautiful example of manifestation. So there was definitely, a, we exchanged money and energy as well. And uh, yeah, it now lives here and it's one of my best manifestations. So the work your light deck, the message that came up is star mother. How can you mother yourself? Which it's, <laughs> came up for a reason today. 48. And I'm not going to get teary yet. It's all good. You're more held than you could possibly imagine. Loved and cherished so dearly that if you knew you would not spend one second of your life in separation, worry, or fear. Let the mother carry your burdens. Let her rock away your fears. Let all your worries. This is true, right? <laughs> Regrets, shame, and guilt on her altar. Please, please, sweet child, do not fear. You are love in motion. If you allow it, you are already healed. Let her remind you of your goodness. Let her love away your fears, your capacity to love. <laughs> uh, yeah, the emotions are getting a hold of me today. Your capacity to love and hold others is limited to your capacity to love and hold yourself. Let that sink in just for a moment as I'm getting all stuffed up here. <laughs> your capacity to love and hold others is limited 
to your capacity to love and hold yourself. Key. Be compassionate. Come here. My boy knows. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. He knows when his mama needs her. Needs him. Um, be compassionate with your sweet body, mind, and soul. Treat yourself like the spirit, the beautiful spirit that you truly are. Remind yourself that you are doing your best and try not to carry it all on your own. You have got this and the mother has got you. Let her broad arms take away your burdens. Let her lift the weight of the world off your shoulders. Forgive yourself, my dear child of the earth. Whew. Okay, if you have something going on tonight, maybe don't listen to this right now. Um, so journal prompt, how can you mother yourself? And if you're into reading, oh my goodness. You ready, bud? Watch it, bud. Okay, if you're into reading... I highly recommend this. Um, it's really interesting. It's really, really interesting. Um, Mary Magdalene's personal story of her tantric, re tantric relationship um, with Jesus Christ. A love so deep it has survived over 2,000 years of lies to be finally told now. In this, the beginning of the ending of time. It's an interesting book. And I mentioned this. Because Mother Mary and this card that just came up. So if you were looking for something, um, you can maybe look for that. Excuse me. Um, the other diffuser blend I really wanted to share that we put in the diffuser yesterday afternoon. Um, so it was a blend of cassia. Ylang Ylang, Roman Chamomile, and Blue Tansy. And Blue Tansy smells so delicious. And it will leave a mark on your skin. But it is so good. It is actually similar coloring of Yarrow Palm, which I also wanted to share. Um, so Cassia is the oil of self-assurance. Ylang Ylang is the inner child. Roman Chamomile is spiritual purpose. And Blue Tansy is Inspired Action. The other one that I wanted to share, I mentioned Yarrow Palm. So this is in my favorite book, Essential Emotions, which also is on an app on my phone. Um, so Yarrow Palm, I don't have any in here. Just about it. Okay, so Yarrow Palm. So it comes in dropper. This is a 30 ml bottle. It is incredible on the skin. It is so moisturizing. So, so, so moisturizing. So what I like to do is I mix it with um, a lotion. So I don't just put just the blue, but I'm gonna show you what happens with the blue. Um, so Yarrow Palm, and the reason I'm mentioning this is I had this set sitting in my office here that I bought myself for Christmas. So speaking of self-care, I bought myself this for Christmas. So it has a little bottle of the Yarrow Palm Renewal System. So you use this under or on your body um, and it's really nice. And then it also has a smaller of the Yarrow Palm. So this is the one I have. This is the one that came in the kit. And then it also came with a gua sha. First time I've ever used, well, not today. What I've noticed though, so I, I literally just started using this yesterday. When I do this, I can literally feel it, like it's gotten much better. Um, but I can literally feel it crunching. <laughs> like it's weird. Yeah. Anyway. The whole point is to use the gua sha with the yarrow palm. So 
and the yarrow palm and that's why I pulled this out so it is the oil of energetic safety yarrow can help harmonize one's energy system following crisis or trauma its regenerative properties assist in balancing chemistry purifying stagnant chi and increasing recept receptivity to positive influences Regardless of the negative energy or incident, yarrow can help an individual feel more protected, strengthened, and rejuvenated, which it also does for your skin. Yarrow is also extremely helpful in discerning light from dark, also super important right now. Um, it encourages opening to love and connection when an individual has become too close, protected, or fearful. Yarrow reassures that div the divine is near, is upholding all things, and desires our safety and protection on our journey through life. So I felt it's important to share about this oil because it's not one, it's not one I would pick to put in the diffuser, obviously. So I'm just going to show, I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger, see there? And then see, it's blue. It's blue. See? Now it does rub in. Oh, I should not use my camera to do this. So the color goes away. It is so moisturizing. So moisturizing. So if you have one of these bottles at home, try it on your skin. I highly recommend. And if you have one of these kits, oh my god, get it out and use it. Have a great day. I know we're going to have an awesome, awesome, awesome rest of our day.